happy Shelby face. Hi, happy Shelby. Hi. And there is a happy Oakley face. Hi, happy Oakley. Hi, happy girls. Right? Everybody wants to see your happy faces. Happy faces. Hi, guys. First of all, I want to say a very quick thank you for all of the love and support that have come to us after our loss of Shiloh. Um, I don't want to make you guys sad, so we're going to skip right past that. Back in October of 2011, Shelby and Shiloh were on a TV show on Animal Planet called Bad Dog. I never uploaded the clip from the show, mainly because I didn't know if I'd get in trouble for it, but a couple of you messaged me and said you saw it on TV again on Saturday, and then I had people saying, I never got to see it, I never got to see it, so... Long story short, I found my DVD, I clipped it together, I'm going to show you the intro to the show, because we were in the intro, the first interview part of the show, and then the ending interview part of the show. And when you watch the ending interview, it's going to seem like kind of a repeat of the part you, of the interview interview, but there are things that they added into it that weren't in the actual interview. So for all of you that never got to see Shiloh and Shelby on Bad Dog, here you go. Enjoy. We can't help but love them. Am I a good girl? When it comes to our four-legged family members, it's unconditional. <laughs> no matter what. That's so good. Our precious pets. They outsmart us. Embarrass us. Yeah, whoa. Eat us out of house and home. Man's best friends. Caught on tape. Acting like our worst enemies. We've circled the globe looking for the baddest of the bad. Bad dog. So sit back as we count down to crown a winner. It's all coming up on Bad Dog. Shiloh and Shelby. They're the latest singing sensation from Alpena, Michigan. And they're bringing down the house. A passing fire truck or even someone humming a tune is enough to launch these two into a full-throated concerto. You'll be yelling over top of them. All right, stop. You can stop now, and they just ignore us. Shiloh and Shelby were both rescued as puppies from tough circumstances. They've paid their dues, and so today, they get lots of TLC, even when they're bad. Most of the things they do wrong are our fault anyway. If we leave something out and they get it, you can't blame them. They don't understand. They just know it's there and it smells good. Because when they're not sharing the house with Jessica and Jamie Hatch, they're tearing it to pieces. I can't even tell you how much money we've spent on things that they've damaged and destroyed. Nine-year-old Shiloh has the kitchen covered. Shiloh's favorite food to eat is really anything. If it's below counter height, even I guess even if it's on the counter, it's, it's hers. <laughs> Shelby, her three-year-old partner in crime, specializes in everything from carpets to ornaments. Shelby's out here chewing on something, and we're going to catch her. Eating a Christmas ornament? Look, it looks like candy. I think the worst thing Shelby ever ate was one of our flash drives for our computer. I was thinking the TV remote. That was kind of scary. She did eat two TV remotes. Now we can turn her on and off because she ate the power button. Everything is fair game for the dogs. You bad dog. Did you eat that? And that includes the precious Christmas bread. Lovingly baked and sent by Jamie's grandma every year. Look at that. You ate half a loaf of Christmas bread. You didn't even share. I was sad because my grandma, you know, she makes a Christmas bread once a year for us. But in essence, I was kind of happy to share with a loved one. Not really. For Shiloh, the carpet is her dinner plate. For Shelby, it's the main dish. You might think the couple would be fed up with their dogs feeding on their house. But they take it all in stride. There are dogs. To me, that just makes them special. I guess if it was the neighbor's dog. They wouldn't be so special. <laughs> it's not all fun, games, and destruction for the Huskies. Go get it! 
Jessica and Jamie do their best to channel that husky energy into something positive. Where are you? Want to go tunnel? Like regular workouts at the dog gym. Good girl. Good girl. And they are sled dogs after all. I'm really happy. If they can turn a living room into mush, they can do the same on a snow trail during the winter months. Good girl. Shall we hike? You're putting their brains to use. They're given a job, something to do. And they're taking that high energy level that they have and running it out of them. Hike, 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 hike. And after a good run, they're too tired to make any trouble when they get home. They come home and they're done. They're tired and they sleep the rest of the night, sometimes two days. But whatever you do, don't sing them a lullaby. It will only get them started and keep you up all night. And that could earn them a spot as the baddest dogs of the week. But the five nominees for this week's baddest of the bad are... Canine Idols, Shiloh and Shelby. You'll be yelling over top of them, all right? Stop. You can stop now, and they just ignore us. When they aren't singing to the house, they're taking the house apart. Most of the things they do wrong are our fault anyway. If we leave something out and they get it, you can't blame them. They don't understand. They just know it's there and it smells good and it looks like fun. I can't even tell you how much money we've spent on things that they've damaged and destroyed. And if you've got it, these two will eat it. Shiloh's favorite food to eat is really anything. If it's below counter height, even I guess even if it's on the counter, it's, it's hers. <laughs> Shelby's out here chewing on something, and we're gonna catch her. Are you eating a Christmas ornament? Look, it looks like candy. I think the worst thing Shelby ever ate was one of our flash drives for our computer. It had important information on it that we made the mistake of not backing up beforehand. I was thinking the TV remote, that was kind of scary. She did eat two TV remotes. Now we can turn her on and off, because she ate the power button. You bad dog. Did you eat that? Look at that. You ate half a loaf of Christmas bread. You didn't even share. I was sad because my grandma, you know, she makes a Christmas bread once a year for us. But in essence, I was kind of happy to share with a loved one. Not really. Hey, what's this? Did you eat the Hershey Kisses? Did you eat those? Did you eat all the Hershey Kisses? Look, you unwrapped them, but you left half the bag. Did you, what did you do? Did you eat a cookie? Did you eat the M&Ms? Huh? Did you eat the M&Ms? Did you, did you eat this? Did you eat the sucker? Was it you? He got a little, a little carried away on this corner and annihilated the whole, the whole corner of it. It was brand new up, and I, w I was not happy. Hmm. You look a little bit um, too innocent laying there, Shelby. What'd you do? Well, but you look at that. Somebody found a roll of toilet paper. There are dogs. To me, that just makes them special. I guess if it was the neighbor's dog. They wouldn't be so special. <laughs> Shine, 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 Shine,